Daily Message, April 24th, 2024. Am I my brother's keeper? Part 1. In Genesis 4, verses 1 through 17, is written the story of Adam and Eve's first two sons, Cain and Abel. In the story, Cain kills Abel out of jealousy over the Lord's regard for Abel's offering of the firstlings of his flock versus Cain's offering of the fruit of the ground in the course of time or when he got around to it. From this text, it is apparent that unlike his older brother, Abel was very discerning with respect to honoring God by offering to him the first fruits of his increase. As written in Proverbs 3, verses 9 through 10, Honor the Lord from your wealth and from the first of all your produce, so your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. After having killed Abel, then the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel your brother? And he said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? He said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground. In the Old Testament, the word brother usually refers to the blood relationship of siblings. Unfortunately, far too often then and now, instead of recognizing how blessed one is for having a brother who is meant to be a readily available friend for life, there is sibling rivalry that destroys the bonds of brotherhood and acts as a stumbling block in one's relationship with God. The rivalry in this case was with respect to the Lord. This story also reveals the increasing grip of sin on the human race. For killing one's brother is more wicked than eating a protected fruit. In addition, Adam had to be persuaded to sin, whereas Cain could not be dissuaded from sinning even by God himself. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry, and why has your countenance fallen? If you do well, will not your countenance be lifted up? And if you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door, and its desire is for you, but you must master it. Thousands of years have passed, but sibling rivalry remains. With love to all, Pastor Cheryl.